Hello, Fusion. How are you doing? To God be the glory. It's December. Yay! Praise God. Hallelujah. Just like yesterday, it was January. Today is December. Uh, and we are alive and well. You know, like I tell you guys, always give thanks. Yeah. Remember, it's only someone that can think that can give thanks. Yeah. So be thankful, be grateful for life, for health, for sound mind. You know, um, my favorite story in the Bible, I can always share with you guys those 10 lepers. You know, Jesus cleansed them. Only one return to give God thanks. And for doing that, God made him whole. Be grateful. I don't know, you may have gone through a lot during the year, but please remember the goodness of the Lord over your life and give him thanks. It's not easy to be in a life, yeah? I know you guys have gone through, especially those of you that are in Nigerian universities. I know you guys are going through a tough time, the exams, hectic, but God, will give you the grace and strength. You're going to finish well. I know my God will not fail you. Yeah? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not, lead on your, do not lean on your understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He shall direct your path. Amen and amen. Perhaps this is your first time joining us. You're welcome. God bless you in Jesus' name. We are called One Church International and we're located in the city of Lagos. Yeah? And if you find yourself in the city of Lagos, please do join us and your life will never remain the same again. Amen and amen. Praise God. Like we do it every week, we're going to enjoy our praise and worship. Yeah, we're going into the presence of God and we're going to rejoice. The Bible says rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. So forget about your troubles. Forget about the sorrows. Forget about whatsoever you've gone through during the week. Just give thanks to God. Yeah, let's have fun in the presence of God. Oh, praise God, and I'll be right back. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.
Welcome back. Yeah, thank you, choir, for that amazing ministration. God bless you real good in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Let's pray. In Jesus' name, Father, thank you for an amazing time that we're going to have in your presence. Father, I pray you speak to us directly in the name of Jesus. All the plans of the enemy, Father, do not come to pass in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, open our eyes, open our ears of understanding and speak to us directly. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Yeah, we are in the Christmas season. As you can see, my Christmas hat, yeah. Is it beautiful? Yeah. So uh, let's celebrate Christ. Christ is the reason for the season. I prophesy that it's going to be a wonderful Christmas for us in the name of Jesus. We're going to see the Christmas and beyond in Jesus' name. 2023 is going to be a wonderful year for us in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Today we're going to talk about beyond routine to relationship. Yeah. Uh, like I tell you guys every now and then that Christianity is a religion about relationship, you know. God came down from heaven through Jesus Christ to die for us so that we have relationship with him. In those days, only the priest could go into the presence of God. Can you imagine that if you have needs, do you want to ask God that is your father for something? You need to go through the priest, you know, and make some sacrifice. Some of them used to carry uh, the, uh, the lamb yeah, to the priest. But today, we as children of God, we could go to call upon our God at any time, everywhere, anywhere we are, we call upon our God, and God is going to answer us. Praise the name of the Lord. So today we're going to talk about beyond routine, beyond coming to church, beyond uh, reading the Bible, beyond praying, beyond all these things that we do as, uh, as believers. Yeah, beyond that, we are supposed to have relationship. And that is the essence for, of Christmas, actually, for us to build relationship, be able to hear what God is um, telling you, you know, at every point in your life, you'll be able to establish that connection with your God. Um, yeah, somebody may say, but uh, uh, God is everywhere. Yeah, God is everywhere, but you need to establish, a there must be that connectivity. You know, it's just like I'm having a radio in my house. And I don't. I, I want to tune into a certain radio station. If I don't tune into that radio station, I'm not going to get um, their signal. You know, I'm. On, I will not get their programs. You know, but if I tune into a radio, a particular radio, I must tune into that radio station for 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 me to be able to hear them. You know, but that does not mean if I don't tune, that does not mean that the signal is not around where I am. You know, yeah, that is it. You know, God is everywhere, but we must tune in. We must connect with Him. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. We must connect with God in relationship, through prayers, through studying the word of God, praise the name of God, through hearing the word of God, yes, like you're doing right now, yeah, yeah but you go open your eyes of understanding that you establish that connection with him and your life, that of your family, that of your generation, will never remain the same again, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. Um, beyond routine to relationship, the depth of God's pursuit of us, when he came to earth, praise the name of that. The depth, you know, when God came to earth through Jesus Christ. Yeah, I remember, you remember the story of Jesus, right? Through how he was given birth through, through the Virgin Mary. Yeah, God came to this world to establish a good relationship with us. We're going to read the book of Luke. Yeah, it's a long reading. Uh, Luke chapter 2, verse 1. You can see that story from Luke chapter 2, verse 1 to 20. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, if you read book, uh, the book of Luke, chapter one, verse, uh, chapter 2, verse 1 to 20, you're going to see yeah, uh, how Jesus was uh, born, the low profile, the nature of his arrival, you know, very low. You know, you know the Jews those days, they were expecting a Messiah that would redeem them from the hands of the Romans. You know, they, if there's any race in this world that suffered persecution the most, it's a chosen uh, race of Israel. You know, so they were looking, always looking forward to the coming of the Messiah. Yeah, but the Messiah came in a very low profile, as you will read in the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 1 to 20. You know, he was born among animals and peasants in an outpost of the Roman Empire. Can you imagine that your Lord, my Lord and Savior, will arrive in this manner, will come to this earth in this manner, he didn't, if you're in Nigeria, you know, you will have chosen uh, him to come uh, like ah, he was born in the villa. Yeah, if you're in America, you will expect that the Messiah will be born in uh, a White House or somewhere. But he chose a very 
low place among animals, you know, and that is to tell you that everybody is important to God. Everybody, rich, poor, yeah, we are all important. Jesus does not discriminate. He loves you the way you are and he wants to establish a good relationship with you. So please make yourself available. Do not allow anybody to deceive you that you are not important to God. We are all important to God and he loves us dearly. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah, not the way people ant anticipated the landing yeah, side of the creator of the universe. He showed the extent of his pursuit for us. Yeah, praise the name of the Lord. And the way he pursued us, you too must seek him. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added unto us. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. They were in, uh, they were, this, like I said earlier, these children of Israel, those days, they were, you know, they were even um, on an exile, they was, but God returned them. Yeah, praise the name of the Lord. And the Romans now overran them, their land. Yeah, but they were not free. Even in their own land, can you imagine? Yeah, you are in your own country, but you are not free. It's just like, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but um, those of you that are very familiar with the uh, Iraq um, and the America invasion, you know, when that this territory where the Americans took over, you know, really, really, the people of Iraq were not that free at that moment. But thank God today, they gained their freedom. Yeah, you are in your land, but you don't have that freedom. Almost like what the colonial masters did to Africa in those days, you know, until the Africans would gain our freedom, like Nigeria gained an indep uh, independent in 1960. So also, the Roman Empire occupied yeah, the land of Israel. So they were looking forward to the coming of the Messiah. Yeah, praise the name of the Lord. But Jesus, our Lord and Savior, left heaven. God stepped into human history. He left heaven. He was fully God and fully Man, praise the name of the Lord at the same time. So he, he feels what we feel. He was a baby, yeah. He became a teenager, just like most of us. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So no matter what you're going through, you have someone that has gone through what you've gone through, and he cares, and he wants to, to, you to establish a good relationship with him so that you tell him those pains, yeah, those things that gives you sleepless nights, your challenges, yeah, when you, get, when you when imagine you, they just resume school and um, in less than two months, they just want you to write exams, you know, that, that stress is stressful, you know, it can get you uh, upset. But there's one man, his name is Jesus, that you could talk to, that he will calm you down and he will direct you. And that's my earnest prayer for you that as you're navigating life, that when you're doing it with this um, Lord and Savior, it's going to give you the wisdom because he has overcome. Praise God, he has overcome. And there's no challenges. There's no challenges beyond him. Just pray to him and establish that good relationship and uh, your life will never remain the same again. Hallelujah. God's pursuit of his people is often different than what we expect. Praise the name of the Lord. You know? God's pursuit of his people is different than what we expect. The children of Israel expect the Savior to set them free, yeah, in a political way, you know. They expected him to come and set them free in a political way, to set them free from the Roman occupation. But he came to save them from their sin. He came to save you and I from our sin. Praise the name of the Lord. They were expecting a powerful ruler, you know, someone that would just come and command the Romans to disappear. <laughs> Praise God. But that is not the way uh, God planned it. Praise the name of the Lord. May God give us understanding and, and make us to establish. Um, my earnest prayer for believers, young believers, is that um, beyond what we hear preachers say, there's deeper things uh, in, in Christ that no man can teach you except you go deeper and establish that relationship with him here. You, you become, um, I don't know how to put it, you become very extraordinary. You become, uh, people will be uh, wondering, you know, where do you get this wisdom from? Yeah, where do you get this kind of uh, abilities from? Praise the name of the Lord. It's beyond the, the, the superficial, you know, beyond the routine, beyond what people do every day, beyond coming to church, beyond singing in choir, beyond even teaching as a teacher. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, Jesus entering the world as a human body shows 
the extent of God's pursuit for you. Yeah, he up to this moment is pursuing you. He wants, to, he wants you to, to establish that relationship with him. He said, behold, I stand on the door and knock. If anyone will hear my voice and open, I will come in and dine with him and he with me. Praise the name of the Lord. God went above and beyond in pursuing his people by being born as a baby on earth. Praise the name of Remember, like I told you guys earlier, he was fully God and fully man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, why do you think that Jesus will choose the Savior of the world? Yeah, why do you think he will choose to come in a so uh, 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 a place, not the palace? He, he didn't choose the palace. Yeah, like I said earlier, just to show you that uh, we all matter to him. He cares about us so much. Yeah, does it make you, I hope that makes you feel special. Like uh, I always want you guys to see that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are special. Do not allow anybody tell you otherwise. Do not allow your economy situation tell you otherwise that you're not important. No matter how uh, uh, life plays you, you are important to God. Whether you are living in the, in the mansion, in the buka, in the hut, wherever you are, yeah, he loves you and he wants to establish that relationship with you yeah praise the name of the lord what are you going to do now now that you know that god loves you yeah are you going to seek him are you going to establish that relationship with him yeah is there someone maybe your teacher in church you know i encourage you to have somebody that you're going to be accountable to you know as you're going to establish the relationship as you begin to seek god begin to establish relationship with him I encourage you to have someone that you're going to be accountable to, you know. They're going to share, praise the name of the Lord. Uh, and also tell the world about um, this wonderful Savior. Yeah, tell them about as you're growing in Christ, establishing relationship with God. Keep telling your friends, your family about this wonderful uh, Savior. And this week, pray for your friends, family, and people around you. Praise the name of the Lord. You have to pray. You know, there is something that if you find something so good as the salvation of your soul, you don't keep it to yourself. You share it. Tell your friends about this Savior that came to the world to die for, to save us from our sins. Praise God. Uh, before I go, I have this quote I wrote down here. Because of immeasurable love, he became what we, we are to bring us to be even what he, what he himself is. Yeah, praise the name. I take that again. Because of immeasurable love, he became what we are to bring us to be even what he is himself. Praise God. Yeah, we are Christ's ambassadors here on earth. Uh, he became one of us uh, Yeah, so that we will gain that liberty and become like Christ. Praise God. May God help us in this Christmas season as you we'll as be traveling to... For some of you will be traveling home, I pray for a safe journey. I pray God's protection over your life in the name of Jesus. I pray that this season is going to be wonderful. Yeah, that we're going to, God is going to crown this year with his goodness in the name of Jesus. Uh, God is going to make us flourish and God is going to help us to establish that wonderful relationship with him in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Uh, let's pray. Father, thank you for a wonderful lesson in your presence. Thank you, Lord, for helping us to understand that. It's all about relationship with you. Help us, Lord, to grow in knowing you in the name of Jesus. We pray for our family members, friends, relatives. We pray for their salvation in the name of Jesus. We pray that this be, oh God, a wonderful Christmas for us. This is going to be a wonderful season for us in the name of Jesus. We're going to stay well, healthy, and alive. No evil will come near us in the name of Jesus. We shall be blessed now going out and are coming in from this time forward and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. Until I come your way again, stay blessed and remember to establish relationship with God. God bless you real good in Jesus' name. Amen. Before we go, let's say our every Sunday confession. It shouldn't be every Sunday confession. It should be our daily confession. Every day you wake up, you tell yourself, I am blessed. Praise God. I am prosperous. I am talented. I am creative. I am forgiven. I am redeemed. I am free. Say, I am valuable. I am anointed. 
Amen. I am equipped. God has equipped us. Amen. I am beautiful. Say that to yourself. I am beautiful. Amen. You are beautiful in Jesus' name. Say, I am attractive. Made you attractive in Jesus' name. I am amazing. I love this one. I am amazing. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Child of God, say it like you mean it. I am a child of the Most High God. Praise the name of the Lord. I have seeds of greatness. I have seeds of greatness on the inside of me. I'll become all he has created me to be. I will become all God has created me to be in the mighty name of Jesus. I am victorious. We are victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a victorious week, my friends, in Jesus' name. God bless you and keep you. God make his face shine over you and give you peace in the name of Jesus. You will excel in this life in the name of Jesus. You shall be called blessed. Blessed are you in your going out. Blessed are you in your coming in in the name of Jesus. You will know the truth and the Bible says if you know the truth, the truth shall set you free. You are free indeed in the name of Jesus. No weapon fashion form against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus. The hand of God rest upon you. Uh, you shall flourish like cedar in Lebanon in the name of Jesus. Your life will not be cut short. You will live to fulfill your days and your assignment men in this life in the name of Jesus. Thank you God for answering our prayers. I pray all this over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And everyone say, Amen. God bless you, real girl.